apparently anonymous has been dismantled by the FBI, please stand, if possible, and repeat the following. Fuck that. I am anonymous. Congratulations, everyone. Anonymous has been successfully restored. citizens of the world we are anonymous it has come to the attention of the collective the true power of anonymous isn't in the person alone it's in the message and or idea they help spread this article is posted january 20th 2017 president obama's legacy on uh, immigration written by the american immigration council staff in daca dapa detention enforcement humanitarian protection with two comments. Oh, look, and here's the fathead now. So he promised to reform America's immigration system. His urgency ultimately dissipated, and reforming America's immigration system will not be counted among his achievements. Now, right here, Family detention. In response to the Central American arrivals along the southern border, the administration launched an aggressive expansion of family detention in an attempt to deter the arrivals of additional refugees. The documented conditions in family detention have been notably poor, with complaints filed against the government on a consistent basis challenging the conditions. Families and children have spent extended periods incarcerated, even though immigration detention is not intended to be a punishment. Families have suffered prolonged and indefinite separations. Let me say that again. Prolonged and indefinite separations under the Obama administration, which came first for those of you who cannot keep things in order while you're being bombarded by the mainstream media with garbage. <sighs> so once again, families have suffered prolonged and indefinite separations under the Obama administration rulings, receiving substandard medical care, and individuals are suffering psychological distress, including depression, anxiety, and difficulty sleeping. The practice of family detention reinstituted during the Obama administration is a dark mark on his legacy. Okay? <laughs> Everybody got that? You got that. All you stupid-ass dumbs out there screaming your asses off. All you MSM liars pushing this bullshit. Back yourselves up. Turn around, face the wall, shut your mouths. You people are out of your minds. You've been drugged, doped, electromagnetically freaked out. There's something wrong with you as a group and you don't recognize it, wake the hell up. Here's your proof right here, okay? Again, we'll go to the fucking post date. January 2017, before any of this started, before you heard word one about this anywhere in the mainstream, this article was already posted, proving Mr. Obama is responsible for the policy you people are all now trying to blame Donald Trump for. I don't like either of them. I don't give a crap about them. They don't give a crap about me. The fact of the matter is, I'm sick of watching you people act like stupid morons, and you better wake the hell up because you're driving all of us over the cliff. Stop wasting your time with this garbage and this kind of deception, and this kind of division. 
Those at the top pushing this division need to be arrested. They need to be put on trial. They need to be punished and called to account for what they have tried to do to you and me and everybody else. Playing us off each other and profiting. Playing us off each other while we murder and kill each other over false lies these people implant and you get so emotionally involved in it. You can't live your life until you go and find an opposing party person believer and do some sort of stupid damage. Only fueling the idiocy patrol. The Moron Brigade. Your behavior is causing the situation. The proof is out there. Stop believing MSM. Do your own goddamn research. Start typing in things and looking at stuff. And even if you don't like what you see, well, that's just too goddamn bad. You better keep looking. Just keep looking. Yeah, you'll find something to fit your needs. But the fact of the matter is, if you don't have an agenda to drive, you'll simply put out the information in a manner that suits both groups. And that's what I've tried to do here. If you don't like it, I don't care. It just shows you're just as brainwashed as the rest of these sheeple. I care about every single person out there. I can't tolerate your misdirected beliefs because you refuse to see the truth for yourself because of some thing within you. That's the only reason you believe what you believe. So, get a clue, pay attention. Stop falling for everything you hear that's designed to emotionally trigger you. And stop acting like you've got no abilities. You don't need government. Government is a criminal investment in control, and you've fallen for it. Good job. And you want us to, to hear what you have to say? Fantastic. Send a courtesy photo of the United States Army Band and we'll be happy to play it for you. You guys gotta wake the hell up, okay? Bye. Anonymous constantly evolves and changes to how people want it to be. In the end, Anonymous can only be constructed or dismantled within our own imagination, not through arrests and or threats. We're all Anonymous by default. The CIA would call this video blowback. It's a term that can apply to Anonymous quite well. When an FBI agent claimed they dismantled Anonymous, it influenced the creation of this video, which in turn only makes Anonymous stronger rather than weaker. Blowback will always occur when you're dealing with an idea. It's one of the main reasons an idea can never be destroyed. No matter how many people you arrest, there's always going to be two more people who support the idea. We are Anonymous. We are Legion. United as one, divided by zero. We can forgive, yet we shall never forget. Expect us.